Bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claude and today, Taurus, I'm going to be doing your chakra tarot reading. So um, this is where I'm going to take a card for each of your chakras and look at your energy centers and tell you um, how they're doing basically and see if you have any blockages or anything that needs to be addressed. So I hope you're doing well and that you've had a good month so far. Now do remember those are general readings, they will not um, apply to everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If you know you resonate better with your Moon, Venus or Rising sign, do check that uh, reading as well. So let's see what the um, chakras of my Taurus Quirants look like. So for your um, first chakra, you have the Four of Wands. Oh, that's not focusing. I think you've got it here. Yep, the Four of Wands. I'm going to put that here. I hope you can see it. The sun's just started to shine. Um, your second chakra, you have the Three of Swords. Your third chakra, you have the Page of Swords. Fourth chakra, you have the Queen of Cups. That's a beautiful energy to have in this chakra. Chakra number five, you have the Ace of Swords. Chakra number six, you have the Tower. And finally, chakra number seven, you've got the Two of Wands. Let me realign those cards a little bit because I feel that you can't see the last one, which is irritating. I hope this is better. Yes, it fits perfectly. Okay. So your first chakra is your root chakra. So it's the energy center for um, survival instincts, safety, security, prosperity. And you have the four of wands. Now this is a beautiful energy to have for your root chakra because the four is the number of strong foundations and stability. And the four of wands um, talks about um, like a landmark moment, something to celebrate because you feel you've achieved, you feel safe now so this is really a perfect card to have um, in this position so this this um, chakra is looking pretty fine <laughs> the second chakra is the sacral chakra which is your center of creativity and pleasures how you experience life and you have the three of swords now swords is mental energy so thinking ideas um, truths and number three is the number of growth um, and expansion. The Three of Swords talks about some kind of a breakthrough, um, some kind of a, a victory but because we're using the sword suit it can be slightly painful so I think this is kind of a work in progress is the message I'm getting for you when it comes to the um, sacral chakra so whether we're talking about your creativity you may have been stuck a little bit and at the moment things are starting to look up you're having a breakthrough if we're talking about experiencing life pleasures um, you may be kind of stuck um, or have been kind of stuck in your head and you're starting to come out of it because this is a mental energy so maybe trying to focus more on feeling rather than thinking is what I'm saying but it is still number three which is a number of growth so things are moving in the correct direction the third chakra is your solar plexus now this is the center of your personal power your um, energy and the will to get things done um, and you have the page of swords now the pages they bear news but they also um, represent the kind of um, lack of experience i should say you know they're not like the knight's queen's 
and kings, they, um, they learn. And that's why sometimes they indicate a change of direction. And as I just explained, the swords are to do with the mental realm. So how you think, your ideas and things like that. And so to me, the page of swords, it's really you preparing yourself for future challenges. This is you building up um, the energy and the resources to tackle whatever it is that you need to tackle next, basically. So this is a nice energy to have in your solar plexus. It's a nice place to be. Then for your heart chakra, you have the Queen of Cups. I mean, how appropriate. And uh, I chose this deck to do the chakra reading because it is based on the colors of the chakras as well. And um, the, the heart chakra is green. Now, the queens always represent patience for me. And the Queen of Cups, she is a loving queen. She is also very much in touch with her intuitions and her feelings. She's very experienced. You know, she's not like the page. Uh, she's not as experienced as the king, but she's very experienced, um, very much in touch with how she feels. And as I said, her intuition. You can see her attention is on this cup. Um, and she seems deep in thoughts because, you know, she's patient. So I would say you're in the right place in your heart, which I'm not surprised to see because you do have the four of wands in your root chakra, which is your sense of safety and security and prosperity. So you're in a happy place in your heart. The next chakra is the throat chakra, which is the center of um, communication. So how you express yourself, but also of listening to people. And you have the Ace of Swords. Uh, again, beautiful card to have in this chakra for you, because the Ace of Swords is gaining the clarity that you need. And um, it's like a, a victorious card. It's like an epiphany card. And you finding the right words to communicate something to someone. Um, if you want to communicate love to somebody um, with the Queen of Cups in your heart chakra and the Ace of Swords in your throat chakra, this is going to be beautiful. You're going to find the right words because you will be speaking from a very good place within your heart and also because you are very grounded and stable in your root chakra. So this really is the perfect card for this chakra, really, because it's finding the right words, it's the truth being said, um, you know, it's the bare naked truth being said, it's it's a very, very um, empowering card to have for the throat chakra, because, I mean, I find it difficult sometimes to express myself, and that, that yeah, I'd love to have that for this chakra, let's just put it this way. Then the third eye chakra, which is your chakra number six in this reading, you have the tower. Now the tower is a major arcana, so it represents a more um, permanent type of energies because it is um, to make you grow on your life journey. So this is God, the divine, the universe, whatever you believe in, um, tearing down something so that to make space for something else basically so it's a sudden change it can be a truth that's revealed which wouldn't surprise me if um, you've got the ace of swords in your throat chakra um, but because the third eye chakra is how you see the world both physically and intuitively you may um, have some truth that's revealed to you which is going to lead to you speaking your truth here you may um, also um, that truth, that fact that you're going to find out, that news you're going to hear, um, may shake how you see the world, just generally speaking, in, in broader terms. But you're in a very good space to handle this in a very balanced way with the Queen um, of Cups in your heart chakra and the Four of Wands in your root chakra. So I would not let that bother me. It's very... Um, it makes you grow when you have this kind of revelation that occurs within the third eye chakra. It's the right place to have it. It's like some kind of revelation. And then in your crown chakra you have the two of wands. And the crown chakra is your wisdom and your self-knowledge, your spiritual connection. And it flows beautifully 
from the tower moment because obviously the energy goes from the root to the crown so it it goes up you can see you start with stability and you go through some things and then you've got this revelation and then in your crown chakra you have the two of wands which is the card of decision and the two of wands talks about um, having a choice between path A and path B but the, the um, result will be the same if you look they're both pointing at the same planet so you will arrive at the same spot which is obviously uh, spiritual connection, um, understanding yourself better, being at one with the universe but the path will be different, you will have different experiences but all of the experiences you have will lead you to this perfect space and you know I really am a true believer that things don't happen to us, they, hap they happen for us so that's how I choose to look um, at the world and at my life generally speaking so to um, summarize this so your root chakra is really well balanced the sacral chakra is the one I would look at the most because otherwise everything else looked really nice I think I've explained it in depth um, enough the only knot I'm seeing on the um, path of your life energy is the um, sacral chakra although it is obviously starting to look better because three is the number of growth or expansion um, as I said, swords energy sometimes cut. Um, so it may be um, that you've had problems just experiencing pleasures for yourself. Maybe you feel guilty when things are too good, you know. If you want to treat yourself, you have that guilt. And I, I see you moving away from this though and starting to break free. Um, of this type of um, mental thinking but it is your sacral chakra that I would look at and as far as um, balancing the energies you can obviously do meditations there are plenty of them that are free on YouTube but I would start by just allowing myself some little pleasures in life like I mean to me you're gonna laugh but you know it's putting some whipped cream in my cafe latte for instance because I love whipped cream it's having a luxurious bath and taking the time to have the bath you know not rushing it because I've got other things to do or worrying whilst I'm bathing you know lighting a nice candle that smells lovely and soaking in my bath preferably with my whipped cream in, in my latte but you know whatever it is those little pleasures in life and when you allow yourself to experience these um, deeply and uninterrupted um, you know you, you start you grow in that respect and the energy feels better and you you realize it is okay for you to have those pleasures in life so that's what I've got for you for your chakra reading for this month. I um, hope you've enjoyed your journey through the cards with me. If you did or if the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me. I really am grateful for it. I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.